everybody. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Today is August 12th. Yes, and it is a Wednesday. So, cheers everybody. Hope you're having a good week. As you can see from the opening of this video, this week's video, we've had some uh, tornadic fun here in Aurora. I live in a suburb of Denver, which is just east of the of the city. So uh, it's the second largest city in the Denver metro area. And I've lived here for a quarter of a century. And the whole time I've been here, we probably had maybe three, maybe four tornadoes in this area. I don't think any of them have touched down in my immediate area. But we've had uh, tornadoes touch down near DIA, which is northeast of us. Um, but yeah, it's been a, it was a crazy, uh, very crazy day yesterday. Uh, coming home from work and seeing the the bump in the cloud and hauling ass getting home because I know my I knew that my son was one of my boys was sleeping, and I had to get him out of had to get him out of bed and get down to the basement pretty quick. So um, that was fun. It makes for excitement. Big excitement. Things happening this week. Um, I do have fermentables going at the moment. In the refrigerator, I have uh, some pickles that I made uh, about a week and a half ago. They're in there chilling. And right now I have some uh, sauerkraut going. It's actually in the closet over here. And I have that guy going. It's on day two of its fermentation. So I got a couple more days on that before I throw it in the refrigerator and cap it down tight. I have uh, my Colorado low kale going. And right now its main fermentation has been done for a couple days. So I'm going, I went ahead and put the, the dry hop. I went ahead and dry hopped it and put the special ingredient that uh, I'll be taking to the homebrewers night in September. So that guy will be ready to, uh, as soon as I get another keg, I'll go ahead and uh, cold crash that guy and let him set on on some CO2, get all carved up and, and uh, you know, do a taste test, you know, after a few days, it's after it's been setting for a little bit. I also came home last night after the excitement of the tornado was done and did an extract beer. I did a Mutton's Canadian style beer. So I went ahead and did that and added adjuncts to it. I put uh, probably 300, 300 grams of, uh, 300 grams, what is it? Hell, I don't know. It was, about, it was under half a pound of, uh, of uh, DME and some corn sugar in it, some dextrose in there, and got it going. It's uh, original gravity is pretty low. I just wanted a lawnmower beer. This one, the original gravity is 1035. I wanted to let you guys know that Colorado Ale, that low kale that I made, actually came out to, hold on, the original gravity on him was 1062, and I actually got 69.6% uh, efficiency on the mash, which was awesome. So that guy's going with the special ingredient and uh, a little bit more uh, cascade in it, so for the dry hop. I didn't put a full ounce in because it had enough cascade in it already. Um, other than that, um, not much going on right now except uh, waiting till uh, payday so I get a little bit more cash and I will be trying to purchase some more uh, corny kegs. I think I'm gonna go with the pin lock since I'm on kind of a strict uh, allowance at this at this time you know I only get so much to work with when it comes to uh, you know having some money during the month so um, I'm probably gonna go the cheaper route and do the pin locks the kegs are cheaper I know the parts are cheaper um, but hey you know they do the same thing I can work with them not a problem so I really don't have anything else this week um, Nothing really going on except uh, the same old, same old. Working, come home, work on the house, you know, do brewing or, or uh, you know, just kicking back and doing the YouTube and just uh, trying to keep your keep your head on straight. So I will go ahead and let you guys go. And I bid you adieu. 
And cheers. Have a great rest of your week. Happy Homebrew Wednesday, all. See ya. Rock on. See ya. Yo, yo, yo. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Whoa. Ugh. I'm gonna get the grill prepped here. We're gonna get some chicken strips going. Hard to do with one hand. That's what she said. Sorry about the noise. I have a busy street next to my house and it wasn't busy before. Now it's busy. Let that heat cook that crap off and make it safe. Alrighty, see I got my homebrew out here. I got my Simcoe IPA. He's got to move out of the way for a moment. And we got us some Chicon strips. See how close I can get this without melting the thing on the grill. Get these laid out here. Hold on just a moment here. Oh. Did you fall through there, you little shit? I mean, little piece of chicken. Chicken shit. Oh, fuck. Sorry. I'll edit that out. Or not. Oh, la, 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 la. Yes, I've had a couple IPAs already tonight. Been dealing with the tornado. Oh, that was fun. Alright. Shut this guy off. I don't need him. I'm also gonna shut this one off. Save some gas. You always need it for brew, right? All right. Check back in a moment, yo. Wow, what a day! Actually, it's Tuesday. Today we had a. When I got home, we had a tornado up in the freaking sky. About a mile, mile and a half from my house. May have been more. I'm just exaggerating, but. Anyway, I'd like to uh, say happy Homebrew Wednesday and give you guys cheers. Cheers. Lots going on this week. Stay tuned. Hey y'all, tonight we are cooking some chicken strips. And the key to grilling these babies is to do it low and slow. And this grill is hard to do it on. I'm having a better time today because... Uh, all the rain that we've had, um, it really cooled it off. So, hey, cheers, all. Yeah. You want to show them? Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Gymnastics, man. Woohoo! Chicken strips is the bomb, especially for those of us that are trying to lose weight. And uh, thrifty, yeah, I've been uh, I've been on uh, my uh, fitness pal for a while, bro. Um, I've been doing it for quite some time. Um, I try and average at least two miles a day walking. You know, do a fast walk where you're actually sweating when you're done, um, and that comes out to about one step a second. So I. I have a break in the morning, and I have a 
I have a break either lunch or uh, in the afternoon. I'll go ahead and do the other mile, but if I have a big break during lunch, sometimes I'll do three miles, and I'll get that done in about uh, uh, 45, 50 minutes, but you got to haul ass, but um, my issue is this. This kills me, man. I got to kick back. That's that's my big thing is the brew, so um, I got to start uh, cutting back on it, drinking. I drink a lot of water already. I also need to cut back on my coffee consumption because I'll drink coffee all the way up till about 11 in the morning when I should just have maybe one or two. I usually have three or four, which is bad. And then uh, I eat pretty good. I don't eat fast food at all. And uh, my wife, she's into uh, you know more steaming vegetables than sauteing or anything like that. So I eat good at home. It's just I have issues with uh, this. <laughs> That's the problem. So I'm with you, bro.